I'm doing a book talk on a book named Lemonade Mouth by Mark Peter Hughes. I don't know about you, but I judge a book on its first sentence. I'll read you this one. Dear reader, as anyone can tell you, the facts surrounding the rise and fall of the late great Lemonade Mouth are steeped in legend and shrouded in mystery. Now, isn't that an awesome way to start a book? I had many questions after reading this, like what's Lemonade Mouth, and who's talking, and why is the text in italics? Of course, this led me to read on. Look, the text is in italics. I found out that Lemonade Mouth is a band consisting of five members, Charlie, Mo, Stella, Wen, and Olivia. Each member has their own sets, different sets of problems. Charlie has a deceased twin. Mo feels like she doesn't belong because she's an immigrant from India. Stella thinks she's stupid and has lots of problems with her family. Wen's dad will be marrying his much younger girlfriend and Olivia's dad is in jail. The book is told from their different points of views and combined all together by Naomi Fishmare, a fellow freshman that writes in the school paper. She's also Mo's best friend. They'll take you back to the time they first met in detention and how a chain of events happened for them to become one of the most influential bands in Rhode Island. Overcoming challenges and teamwork are the main themes of this book as the band does face obstacles and difficulties along the way but always manage to stick together. For example, they perform at the Halloween Bash, which is easier said than done. The opposing popular band that plays in the Bash, much like Crush, plans to stay in popularity. Realistic fiction readers, I advise you to read this fantastic book, once again named Lemonade Mouth by Mark Peter Hughes.